this event and sponsors other salons throughout the year, um, basically on a monthly basis except uh, through the summertime. Um, the American Committee for Shards Ed recognizes how important it is to strengthen the commitment of young adults to causes that benefit Israel and Jews worldwide, and so these monthly intellectual salons are our way of doing that. They're intended to bring together young adults with shared interests and to expose them to people who are uniquely qualified to provide insight and guidance on topics that are both interesting and relevant to Israel and the Jews, as we will see tonight. Um, so that uh, together we can learn about, consider, and discuss important issues in depth, and sometimes uh, more light issues as well. The ultimate goals of these salons is to continue strengthening the young Jewish community in LA, and obviously to strengthen the Sharad Zedek, uh family in LA as well. Um, first, I would like to thank um, Ori and Stacy Blackman, um, who are hosting us this evening. Thank you. This, um, this is actually the second time that they've hosted Shard Zedek, uh in this room. Um, and they've been very, very kind. Our, our, uh, their middle child and our oldest child uh, were in uh, nursery school together. And since then, we've continued to go camping and at soccer seasons uh, and whatnot. And I, uh, I greatly appreciate their opening their homes. Turns out, totally randomly, that Uri actually has a couple of connections to Shard Zedek. And connect, correct me if I'm wrong, but his business partner's wife is a physician who has privileges or basically is a doctor at Shard Zedek. Um, and then also his uncle is, is somebody at Shard Zedek knows your uncle? Yeah, or a cardiologist is a cardiologist. And, you know, and, and uh, the director general of the hospital, Yonatan Halevi, knows his uncle. So it, it turns out totally randomly um, that, that uh, they have a connection. Oftentimes when I talk to people about Shard Zedek, they say, oh, my nephew was born there, my niece was born here. Um, so it happens quite a bit. Um, at the beginning of these salons, we always start with an update on the hospital. And um, tonight I'm going to actually keep it very, very short because you have uh, some material that was on your seat before you sat down um, that goes into this uh, in depth. But um, obviously we're all very aware of what happened in Boston just a couple of weeks ago. And the sad truth is that this is some, this, this events similar to the tragedy that occurred in Boston are not too dissimilar to events that occurred uh, in Jerusalem and Tel Aviv and other parts of Israel. Um, quite frequently, um, especially in the, in the early knots. Um, and Shard Zedek was one of the major institutions that actually absorbed uh, those emergency cases. Um, and so the, there's a piece that's on your, um, on your chairs that basically goes through sort of uh, what occurs immediately after the alert comes in uh, about one of these uh, events. And I'll just read the first paragraph, um, but I, I, I definitely uh, hope that you will read the rest of it. It's uh, a couple pages. Uh, it's called Totally Prepared for Any Terrorist Attack. Everybody in Jerusalem is familiar with the screaming sounds of multiple sirens as ambulances race through the streets notifying the city that something has happened. It is the telltale sign of a terror attack alerting residents that a bus or a restaurant has been blown up and there are likely to be many casualties. And then it goes in to talk about basically the alert system reaching out to 200 professionals, medical professionals at Shark Tank and, and, how, um, and how they react. So it's very compelling. Um, one of the things that's actually very interesting is that um, Shard Zedek has also taken a role in actually educating United States uh, institutions, hospitals, in their reactions to potential events. Uh, and, uh, you know, unfortunately, I think some of that knowledge was used in Boston a couple of weeks ago. Um, so again, please, please um, read that at your leisure. So now I'd like to move to the main event um, and hand it off to the true MC for the evening, um, Dave Jesser. Uh, has written for, worked on, produced, executive produced, created, basically everything you can think of. Numerous big time shows, um, uh, including uh, Howard Stern's uh, show, Segments for Comedy Central's The Man Show, starring Jimmy Kimmel and Adam Carolla. Critically acclaimed, uh, and he claims although widely ignored, Action, starring Jay Moore. Third Rock from the Sun, Fox is potentially brilliant, but ultimately disappointing puppet show, Greg the Bunny, starring Eugene Levy and, Green, and Seth Green. The critically acclaimed Andy Richter controls the universe, 30 episodes of Jimmy Kimmel's brilliant series, Crank Anchors. Um, the mold breaking drawn together, the first ever animated reality television show about eight cartoon characters living in a house uh, and having their every moment of their lives followed. The follow-up full-length film drawn together, the movie. Fox's hit series, The Cleveland Show, which was produced by the Family Guy team. And currently, uh, he's working on Cartoon Network's Adult Swim and the upcoming award-winning Coffin Dodgers, first ever animated reality series about a group of elderly animal house types living in a tranquil retirement community. 
So Paul and Faye are uh, infinitely uh, proud of Dave and also infinitely shocked by Dave. Uh, but I will hand it over to him.